brief, brief background. Uh, Roger dropped out of varsity, sailed the world, and then got into startups. Um, I finished Varsity, tried to work in corporate, then started a software development company, and then started out as a deep geek, writing code, then learned to work in teams, then learned that we could build anything, and we needed to figure out what should we build. And then we got into lean startups and helping startups figure out what they should build. Uh, because a lot of the times when you build it and you take it out, it's not working. And our big itch that we needed to scratch was we saw companies not doing the right thing, which is running these cheap, low-cost experiments, because they wanted to stay in their safe zone, in the comfort zone, build more product before you go show it to customers. And so this process is really the fulfillment of how we convince people to get out of the building. So you'll hear that a lot today. Get out of the building and go and validate. Get out of the building, talk to customers. Take your product out of the building by putting it online. There's lots of ways to get out of the building. and. Collectively, we kind of called this our anti-sales process because people came to us wanting us to build product and we said no. A, because we're defending our team. B, because we're making you spend your capital in the right way. You must not build now. What you need to do is go out and... In the beginning, I literally used to give away copies of the Lean Iterator book and say, read that and come back to me once you understand it. Then, now that you understand it, go and do the experiments and come back once you've got funding because those will get you funding. Now that you've got funding, now we can talk about development. In retrospect, a bad sales process, but it meant that we got good customers, and over the years we've qualified it to this, and it fits beautifully with anybody who's looking to validate an idea, and especially you guys, how do you run low-cost experiments, low-risk, low-cost experiments to validate your idea? So today we're gonna to talk about just the idea. Next session, when you move on, we'll talk about how to take a product and actually put that product in front of people and validate that and then moving on from there uh, into how do you pitch that for entry into the accelerator in your context, but in the greater context, and, your first round of funding. And one of the core places where this is built from is, we chat to investors all the time, and they say there's nothing to invest in. Um, you talk to entrepreneurs all the time and say there's no money, there's no one's investing. But, and, and, and they're both right. But what they're missing is there aren't enough valid, uh, validated ideas to invest in. Um, and there aren't enough, they're, they're, or they're getting the wrong type of funding at the early, early stages. And so it's that mismatch around validation. So that, that's, this whole program is focused entirely around that, around how do you validate something that moves you along the line to position you better for investors. So if, um, if Roger's the entrepreneur on that side of this chasm and I'm the investor on this side, there's nothing to invest in and he says there's no one to invest, this is a long chasm and in no way are we describing to you a bridge. This is not a bridge across there. We're not building a bridge. It's not a defined straight path. It's closer to a platform game, you know, where you've got Mario and he jumps and then he's on a sliding platform, he falls over, he goes back to the beginning and he gets a bit closer. We're at least showing you what the levels are and that there's a dragon here that you have to go out and kill this dragon and then you fall off again and then there's a swing bridge over here and there's three ways to get through there, but eventually you can get to this side and try to beat the boss, which is, you know, get the, get the investment. So it, it, it's the game, and you're gonna iterate back. And if you imagine playing computer games, it's a great way to think about it, because every time you get it wrong, you go back, you go through the steps again, and you can... And, and that's, that's one of the analogies. If you get to a point you realize, hey, this idea is scalable, it's not gonna go anywhere, great, you've got all the tools, you know how the levels work, pick another idea and run through the platform again with you guys and really what we're going to be doing is running you through a whole set of tools on how to test and validate ideas and that's really what these sessions are all about they're they're about giving you working through various different worksheets or canvases or sessions that are going to give you the tools on how to test and how to find out um, when the product should move from an idea to a product to a business and that's kind of what this process is and David and I have both um, both run very similar companies um, I run a company called Play Logics. David runs one called Afro Labs, and, and we're startup studios. So we take in entrepreneurs on the one side, help them work out what they need to build, and then have the dev team to build that and take it to market. Because what we found is, as a software, software studio, um, a lot of entrepreneurs would come in, but the working out, like getting to the point where they need to build software um, is, is the hard part. And actually working out what to build is the most important part of what they do. Um, until you've got a really good idea of what you need to build 
you shouldn't go anywhere near software or buying stock or doing things. You need, there's a whole bunch of tools that you can work out and you can validate um, your idea along that. So we started selling ideation ex and explorations and these various different sessions to because people didn't want to do it, so we charged them for it and then they want to do it. Um, and that makes a lot more sense. So what this process is, has really been built out of our need. Um, in the last two years, we've been um, using this methodology. We've built over 30 startups um, between the two of us. Um, we've built, yeah, David alone has built about 50 in the last 10. So um, we've, we've been doing this stuff quite a lot. We know this content. This is really built out of a need of getting people to a point to where they're ready to build software. And, and, and what we realized at developing this stuff is that it's not only specific to technology businesses. The same thing applies to a spaza shop or to a wholesaler or to that. And these techniques on how to validate ideas and move through developing a business model um, is, is actually core to any kind of business. And so that's really what we're here with the Alan Gray um, Orbis Foundation is to, to help you guys run through, make sure that you've covered all the gray areas in between, you've filled all the gaps, you know what your next steps are, so that when you move into the accelerator, get some funding, you know exactly what direction is to go and focus on.